I'm never sure how to answer the question that asks where I come from. There's a small town in Indiana that fought to be Maryville and then Hobart and then Maryville again. My grandpa built a house there with his old country hands and it was the only place that my mom knew to bring me on my first night home from the hospital. I lived there for two more years and then on weekdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for the next five years. She pieced together for me her memories of that home in every room, so much so that when I think back, I remember watching her sister skate on the pool when it'd freeze over in the winter as if it were my own memory. Is that where I come from? Or do I come from the boxy apartment on 73rd Avenue with pinstriped wallpaper and shag carpet so thick it'd swallow Barbie shoes whole? The living room, dining room, and kitchen would have all blended into the same room, but a single wall that we dubbed the TV wall divided them. I guess you could call it open concept. When I drive by now, I think about how it probably wouldn't even hold the bulk of my records. Forget about my books. I lived out my formative years there under a tree that separated us from the even numbered rentals across the yard. Is that where I come from? Where do I come from Crown Point, where I shared a two-man bunk bed three ways for a year and a half? The place where I learned to feel comfortable waiting. The place that taught me to unroll a sleeping bag that wasn't mine and live inside a transition I didn't anticipate. Is that where I come from? Or do I come from Hebron, where my parents merged bank accounts and cashed out their savings to finance our living room furniture? And we're toasting to our hole in the ground, our new house. I held the blueprints for our home while my mom penciled in the parts she wanted to keep and the parts she wanted to change. My room is in the exact places I left it, and there's an entire song named for the small stretch of real estate that is my parents' kitchen floor. Is that where I come from? Or is it in Chicago, where I traded in neighborhoods like sick days and traced the mile and a half stretch of Halstead more times than I can remember? Every year on the edge of September, I put on a shirt and an album that the weather doesn't call for yet and drive 294 until it almost runs out. Is that where I come from? Or is it in Los Angeles where my keys still work and my checks get mailed? I like to think there's a difference between me and the sun hat wielding tourists they let loose on my street, that one of us has any right to be here. When I set out on jogs in the afternoon, nothing feels new. I know when the billboards change and when another window falls out of that building on the corner of 4th and Broadway. Is this where I come from? Thank you.